All right, so basically, with sniper entry, right, I trade silver. I trade silver, right? You know, helping hand challenge, accept it, vlog, update, right? I trade silver. Now, this whole sniper entry thing I was just telling you about, here's how we are going to use this for silver. Like, silver gives you a profit of 10 cents per point, right? Duh. Now... Silver moves 10 cents at a time. Basically. Yeah. So, for every 10 cents silver moves, I'm going to make $10. So, for every trade. So, if you have more than one trade, you're going to get $10 times that many trades for every 10 cents it moves in your favor so now with this whole sniper entry by using the one minute osma in phase two after phase one is completed phase one being five minute and 15 minute moving averages chart on investing.com technical analysis are both one color the same color it breaches the five minute it matches out the five minute and then it breaches and matches out the 15 minute then from there phase one over move over to phase two which is watching the one minute osma on the metatrader platform app and waiting for that because the osma will have a negative or positive next to the, the integer so you're waiting for it, the negative or positive to pop up like the opposite so if the silver five minute and 15 minute technical analysis chart were both green, we're waiting for the odds to go negative on a one minute metatrader. That's simple. After phase one, which is what I just said, that's phase one. Then you have phase two. Other than that two phase situation, the only other way to trade is to literally wait for that five minute, like your, your phase two your alternate phase two you have two options for phase two phase one is always the same you're waiting for the five minute and 15 minute chart to match same color be all matched out then you wait in phase two for the five minute sell signal if both charts are green or you're waiting for if both charts are red the five minute buy signal boom that's what you're waiting for that's phase one phase two the only way around the phase two is an alternate phase two. That was your first one. Sniper entry for the Osmo. That's the only other way to catch the move after it's ready. But before it shows you. Oh shit. So with silver, silver is going to be crazy on that five minute chart because... It's really the 15 minute chart. I'm just using the five minute chart for sniper entry on the 15 minute signal. But then I'm using a one minute Osmo for sniper entry on the five minute signal. So I, I'm using two snipers. I got a sniper entry on my sniper entry. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. I got the market almost triangulated. That's how they killed Kennedy through triangulation. I have a shooter at every point. And all they need him to do is go in the middle. Real talk. Now, real talk. This is how they killed Kennedy. Now, real talk. Real talk. I'm sorry. But that's how they did it. Triangulation. That's how they killed President Kennedy. He was where my nose was. In the middle of all that gunfire. Real talk. You know, walked into the killing zone. It was a killing zone. It was a military operation. Now, real talk. It is what it is. Who cares what you think? You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Like, you don't even care what you think. And you'd be like, why do you say that? Because, like, you don't have any books that you publish to show that you actually value your own mind. You haven't even published your own thoughts. And, like, you know, you saw the spit come out. You haven't even published your own thoughts. And you want other people to value them? They're just all scrambled up in there. You haven't taken them out, put them on paper, and published them. 
you want me to value them? You don't even fucking value them. Publish your mind in a book, then. Since you value your thoughts so fucking much. You know what I'm saying? You don't even value your thoughts enough to try to sell them or anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't trust someone who just, oh, yeah, I do everything in here. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't just... It's like, people don't often scrutinize what I say. They just scrutinize me for saying it. They don't ever scrutinize what I say. Like this girl. I'm telling her how, like, I had a lot of near-death experiences with cars and driving so I don't really care for driving and she's like oh I never met anybody who didn't want to drive and it's like five in the morning or whatever and I I was like it, it was a conversation from the previous night Excuse me, I didn't want it to drag on too much. Like, who cares what I want to do? Like, why do you care? You know? And then I just had to, like, check her, like, on a bunch of shit about the situation. Like, first off, in a car, you can follow all the fucking rules. If the motherfuckers next to you don't follow the rules... And it doesn't matter, y'all still crash together. First off, let's just be honest about that, about driving. You can follow all the fucking rules. If the dickheads, if you're triangulated, if you're in the middle of three dickheads who are not following the rules, or even one, doesn't matter how well you drove, bitch. That's why people get in accidents that are not their fault. (laughs) How'd that happen? Motherfucker behind me couldn't drive. <laughs> right? Alright, that's one point. Boom. Then I already told her, like, you know, I almost, like, died on the road a lot as a kid. So, I just don't fuck with the road and drivers, really. It's, it's, it's the drivers. You can't blame the car. A car can't move without someone behind it, or at least back in the day, right? And so, back in my day, right? So, look. So, then I had to bring up that one. Like, first off, you know, some people... You know, don't play with guns when they get older because they got shot when they were younger, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't do drugs when they get older because maybe they were doing drugs when they were younger. Like, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Something turned them away from it. So, then I was like, all right. She was like, you know, I I, I wouldn't want to not have a car. And I was like, well, of course. Like, you're a woman. You're a princess. And you need a carriage. You know what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't be walking anywhere you know, and then I had to be like, you know, um, a lot of people who are like obese or overweight or just bigger or just their stomach is not as uh, sexy as they want it to look. It's because they drive everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when do you see a fat person walking to go buy food? They won't even do that. Real shit. I want to drive and get it as fast as possible. I want to drive home and get it as fast as possible. Real shit. I'm watching a, you know, a fat guy walk up the hill with some pizza and shit. Like going to pick up pizza and walking back down. It was admirable. It was admirable. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, look at this nigga. He burned up some calories before you know, add more. Motherfucker, like, when I take off my shirt, it looks like, you know, I should be sponsored by a food kitchen or something. But... My abs just look so sexy. I have washboard abs. Like, I look good with my shirt off. Right? People with cars, they don't necessarily look too good with their shirt off. Because they drive every fucking way. So, then I probably made more points to her. And you know, it was just the whole time I just feel like I'm snapping on a bitch. I'm just like, I just felt bad. I'm like, 
that I gotta be the one to bring all this shit up to you. Like you never thought about this shit before, and like you're annoying. You know, it's getting annoying here because I don't press you that much about your fucking life and decisions, nigga. Like, real shit. I back the fuck off of you, right? You see me fucking ask you 20 questions after you said one thing about yourself? Like it was that big of a deal to me? It's not. Nothing you say about yourself will ever be that big of a deal to me where I gotta ask you 20 motherfucking questions after that shit trying to get to the bottom of it. Why you feel that way? Fuck out of my face. So the last thing I had to tell her was like, all right, you can lie, but let's be honest here. That car is just a slave vehicle. That shit's just to get you to work back and forth. You can lie, but when's the last time you used that car to go on vacation? You go to the same places every day in that fucking car. You don't go anywhere different. And if you do, you're on a tight time schedule. Your ass better be in bed going to sleep because you got orders to take in the morning from your fucking white man boss and shit. So let's not play that shit, princess. You're not driving your car on vacation. When you wake up in the morning, six in the morning, seven in the morning, you go outside and look at all the cars driving on the road and, and you get on the interstate and you're driving wherever you're driving, just start asking yourself, where are these niggas going? And look at how they're in a rush. They're now in a rush to go to vacation. You know what I'm saying? If you're driving across the country, like what's really the rush? You know, like you just kind of, you just want to get there safely, right? How are you rushing from New York to California? What the fuck is your problem? Like you want to get it over with? But most times, people are only driving to work or they're running errands. I think about that. Yo, that car right there, where is he going? Like, and, and you'll never know, but you can just kind of look at their sense of urgency and be like, all right, these niggas are chilling. They're good. This nigga late for work. This nigga driving like he late for work. This nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga driving like he got cocaine in the back and don't want nobody to know. This nigga driving like he got cocaine in the back and he trying to get pulled over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like that. So I had to check it. Like, yo, look, um, don't act like you use that car to go anywhere else but motherfucking work in the car wash, nigga, or whatever, bro. Like, where do you really go in the car? You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, that's up to you. Oh, I go here and here. But you know your bitch ass got to be back at, at a certain time, right? You're a slave. And that car is a slave vehicle. You're only using it to get back and forth to work. That's why you don't want to drive, travel, and put too much mile, mileage on it. You know what I'm saying? So don't play with me. Don't play with me. And then you're paying insurance and this emissions. And then she was like, oh, I live in Rockdale or something. I don't have emissions or... Or live in Covington, which would be uh, Newton County instead of Rockdale County. She like, I live in Covington, there's no emissions. But you get my point, bitch, that you had to even say that? You get my point, though, what, I, what I'm fucking saying, right? Yeah. But there's another bitch out there like that got to pay emission. I don't live in Covington. But you see the fact that you even had to say that. Point point made, bitch. The fact that you, or I don't, <laughs> bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, we don't have to pay insurance in Kentucky, but the other motherfuckers not living in Kentucky ain't that fucking Ken Lucky, you ain't bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't press me too much when I say something. You ask me, because that's how I was raised, bro. My brother Justin, real shit. If I ask this nigga like three questions, he'd be like, yo, we playing 20 questions. Like, he would, this nigga would check me on like question three. Like, he would check me fast as fuck. So that's just how it go, nigga. That's just how it go. Don't really. You can ask your questions and shit. It's cool if it's a real good question, something you really want to know. Oh, I can't ask you questions? Like, nah, I mean, like, don't ask me stupid ass questions. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who gives a fuck if I want to drive? Fuck driving. It's a chore. Almost died on the road. And fuck y'all. Y'all bad drivers. I don't want to be around y'all. Y'all niggas can't drive. I like to watch traffic. I like to watch how much y'all can't drive. I like to watch how when y'all come to a red light, you drive over the white line and wait there. And then another car driving by that almost hits your shit, beeps at you, and then you don't move. Or some of y'all move. And then I see you move, and then I laugh at you. And then you're staring at me, laughing at you. And I just can't stop fucking laughing at you. And you just can't stop fucking staring at me. And even as you're driving off, I'm waving by at you. And then I'm walking by your neighborhood as you're driving 
to the street and there's a stop sign in your neighborhood and you're not stopping and I'm walking in front of the bitch. So now I got to point to the stop sign and then you're going to beat the fucking horn because you're mad because I pointed to the stop sign that you don't want to stop for even though there's a pedestrian in your fucking way. Like you all are such assholes. I fucking hate your guts, but I just try to be nice about it. But I can't stand y'all motherfuckers, man. Y'all niggas think like the bottom of the barrel. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas think. Y'all niggas think like shit. You think like trash. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Like, like, that's just what it is. Like, I accept you niggas for how you are. That's the thing about it. I accept your stupidity. But I'm not accepting your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to think like a fucking bottom dweller, then I accept you for who you are. But man, keep that stupid ass bullshit away from me. Don't come to me with that stupid ass. Don't say stupid shit to me like you said something smart. I don't like that shit. If you say something stupid to me, I'm going to call it out. Yo, what you just said was stupid as fuck. Because that's how I was raised, bro. My brothers would check me. Yo. That was stupid. Yo, you're being stupid. Yo, stop it, stupid. But I always prefer being called stupid over getting punched in the fucking face. Real shit. They could have just fucking punched me. So I was like, yeah, it was, there was another option other than this lashing, this getting cursed out. You know what I'm saying? I could have, yeah, so it was like, yeah. Would I have rather them hit me? No. So fuck it. I take the fucking cussing out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the cursing out is. It's my only other alternative. Like, I'm not going to fight you. So just cuss your stupid ass out. Hey, listen. That shit was stupid as fuck for the record. That was stupid as fuck, nigga. I just want you to know that. That I know what you said was stupid. And I could really break it down as just, as just to how stupid that shit was. If you really want to go there. You really want to know how stupid that shit was that you just fucking said to me? I need you to know that I have stupid sensors. So when you say something stupid, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, did you really think you sounded smart when you said that? Because I don't want you thinking you can intentionally misguide me. By purposely saying stupid shit to me that you knew was stupid and pretending. So now you don't even know what something stupid sounds like. Oh, what's so stupid? Oh, word? You want the, what? what's the word? The dissertation? You want the dissection on why that shit was stupid, bitch? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, so that that's just how it is with me, bro. Honestly, that's just what it is. You know... So, you know, try not to press me too much when I say something about myself. I don't like avocados. Don't ask me 20 fucking questions why I don't like avocados. Do you work for avocados? You feel me? Do you get something out of turning me into an avocado advocate, bitch? That's what I mean. Like, motherfucker act like she was going to receive a commission bonus if I got my fucking license or some shit. If I get a car, it's going to benefit her. Like, back the fuck up. Why are you still working for a white man? Motherfucker. Why are you still working for any anybody? Motherfucker. That's one question. You know what I'm saying? I don't have 19 followers for that shit. But I could... If I, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you got nothing on your brain right now but to keep pressing me about some shit I said about my fucking self? Like, that shit crazy. If you said, I don't like strawberries, that's the end of it, bitch. God damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't fucking question me. Shit piss me the fuck up. Or I can't ask questions. Don't ask me no fucking questions. That's all I'm saying, dog.